Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Afika. Today, my group members and I will present about conventional breeding. Conventional breeding is a traditional method that were used to improve cultivars plant genome within the natural genetic boundaries of the species. Next is objective of conventional breeding. The objective is to produce offspring that have better quality than the parents plant, to produce offspring that have higher yield and to produce offspring that have more resistance toward diseases and pest attacks. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi, my name is Amizi. Previously, we have learned about the definition and objective of conventional plant breeding. Now, I will explain the methods in conventional plant breeding. Years ago, farmers used conventional plant breeding methods to produce crops with higher yield and better quality. Among the methods involved in conventional plant breeding is mass selection, pure line selection, bulk population, single seed descent, pedigree methods, composite and multi-line. Now, I will explain the difference between conventional plant breeding and non-conventional plant breeding. In conventional plant breeding, selection is based on the morphological character or phenotype of the crop. It means that we can choose the plant that we want to breed with specific traits such as plant height or fruit size. Next, the undesired genes can also be transferred with the desired genes. In traditional plant breeding, the genome of the parents are mixed up and reassorted into the genome of the offspring. So there is a higher chance that undesired traits can also be transferred with the desired traits. Next, conventional plant breeding takes a longer time to achieve success. Examples of conventional plant breeding are mass selection, pure line selection, pedigree methods, and also bulk population. For non-conventional plant breeding, crop improvement can be achieved in a shorter time. It allows plant to be modified by removing or switching off a particular gene. Selection is genotype based, done with the help of DNA molecular marker based. Examples of non-conventional plant breeding are genetic engineering, plant tissue culture, micro-propagation, marker-assisted selection, and polyploidy breeding. Hi, I am Aswa. Limitations or challenges of conventional breeding is it can only be done between two plants that can sexually mate with each other. Secondly, a traditional way of breeding practices that lack of precision compared to a modern way. And lastly, chemical exposure promotes toxicity, particularly in food production. The advantages of conventional breeding is it is simple and does not require a complex way to do a breeding. Increasing the availability of genetic resources for crop improvement through integration of the desired traits. Lastly, transparency of knowledge in breeding for everyone to practice an independence which does not require an expert. And the disadvantages of it is slower production of yields to resolve global food security issues, more expensive economically in producing high yields compared to new techniques of breeding, and lastly, not precise, and the outcomes are mostly unpredictable. Thus, it is not safe for food production. So, the last from us that we can conclude that both conventional and non-conventional breeding results same outcomes but differ in process. Normally, conventional way require a longer time for production. Besides, the modern way of breeding is more suitable and provides sufficient production following a crisis in food security nowadays compared to the conventional way.